Hi, this is Robert Polenik, the owner of Brutal Iron Gym. In today's video, I wanted to discuss one of my favorite techniques for growing stubborn or lagging body parts. It's not overly fancy, it's simply just training the muscle multiple days in a row. <laughs> so I've been wanting to get my upper back to grow, so I've started training it on back-to-back -back days. Actually, today I just finished a little bit of like an experimental thing. I trained it three days in a row. The first day, uh, whether you do two or three days, the first day you want to do more heavy compound movements, kind of a typical heavy, normal bodybuilding style workout. Then on the second day, it's usually better to pick more isolative movements, movements that feel challenging but under lighter weight loads. And you'll see in the video that it's about to come uh, where I'll go over some descriptions of the exercises that I chose. But you would typically do more isolative movements. And then on the third day, if you're gonna add a third day like I did, I actually went back to some of the compound movements but tried to move a little slower, tried to have a little more uh, kind of control over the technique. But the reason why I chose to go back to compound movements was the main targeted muscles after two days in a row are definitely fried. So I wanted to bring back in the assistance muscles to try to help push that main muscle further into muscular fatigue. So watch the following uh, rest of this video <laughs> and I'll explain my thoughts and you can give this uh, theory, you can give this concept a try. So this was the first day. I was starting with bent over rows using the Rogue Fitness, their seal row bar. You can see the bar has a little bit of a bend, a camber where my waist is. This allows me to be much more upright position than a typical bent over row. So that way I can target more of my upper back without overloading my lower back. This was a warm up set. I eventually worked up to five heavy sets of 10 reps. Paired with that, I was doing seated lat pull downs. Now this is our Sornex Apex rack. There's a squat rack in the middle and a cable stack on each side. With this, I'm sitting down on the ground to get a bigger range of motion. The cable height is adjustable, but I have it at the top and I'm leaning into this motion. What I'm trying to target with this exercise is my upper lats but I'm coming down and getting a pause and a hold so that way I'm properly engaging my lower and medium lat as well. So I don't want to be only my upper lat, I kind of want it to be the full sweep of the lat, but this wide overhand position with that stretch at the top does typically target the upper outer lat the most. The pauses here were a great way to get good mind muscle connection and ensure I'm getting a good deep contraction. For this, I also did five sets of 10 reps. So the set count for the first workout of this overall technique would be around 10 to 12 total working sets. Then the second day, I was doing a variation of a hand-supported one-arm row. I like using this positioning because it's very strict in the body position. You can get a great stretch in the lat, and the mid-back, kind of the lower and middle traps, but maintain really good technique. For this day, I was changing the angle. You can see the angle kind of increasing each set. And I believe I did five or six overall sets of 10 reps. So it was pushing me up into that 15 to 16 total set count for the week. Then the third day, I'm actually going to show you chest flies because I was actually pairing my third day back exercise with my chest workout. So I was actually doing the chest movement, then the back movement, the chest movement, then the back movement. So I was bringing the back movement along with my other chest exercises. That's called a trailing superset where you just pair this exercise that kind of trails after all the other exercises for that day. So I did chest flies and rows, then I did dumbbell presses and rows, but it helped me get more of that back volume in. For this, I did a couple warm-up sets and then five-ish sets that I thought felt pretty hard, but still a good control overall. So that brought my total set count for the week up to 20 working sets. So even if you train the body part over two to three days, you want to aim somewhere between 10 to 20 total sets. Since I really want this muscle group to grow, 
I was pushing up towards that higher end, getting the 20 sets in. And then uh, also on the rows, I did finish with some variation of a high shrug. So you'll see me doing that here. So this would be a great overall technique if you're wanting to build up a lagging body part. To learn more about how to do that, you can listen to podcast 1,373. We talk about pairing body parts on back-to-back -back days and using trailing supersets as a technique to grow those stubborn lagging body parts. You can find that podcast on our website.